What's up guys? It's Recipe Thursday. Also happens to be my birthday week and I wanted some kind of dessert to celebrate and you all picked Keto Fudge Snickers Bars. I'm excited. Let's go. In a bowl, we're gonna mix together one third cup of coconut oil, two thirds cup cocoa powder, one half cup peanut butter, one fourth cup sugar-free maple syrup, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're gonna mix all the ingredients until it makes a sticky dough, like this. Then we're gonna line a pan, or I have a glass dish with parchment paper, and pour that into it and spread it evenly. Next, we're gonna to melt together one third cup of peanut butter, four tablespoons of coconut oil, and four tablespoons of maple syrup sugar-free. Now you can um, melt this in the microwave. I'm gonna, I'm melting it here in my stove top, but you just really wanna combine all the ingredients, make sure they're melted together. It even looks like caramel at this point. And now we're gonna add it to the crust as another layer. Spread it out. Next, we're just gonna stick this in the freezer till it's firm. And while that's firming up, we are going to make the coconut cream layer. We're gonna add a half a cup of peanut butter, three fourth cups of coconut cream, two teaspoons of monk fruit, and one teaspoon vanilla extract. Now we're gonna mix that up. Now only use the creamy part of the coconut um, cream. You don't need to use the, the liquidy part. Now we're gonna add that layer on top of the caramel layer. And we're gonna put this back in the freezer to firm up. While that's firming up, we're gonna melt um, 80 grams of salted caramel. We use Lily's, it's sugar-free. Now we're gonna add the final layer, which is the salted caramel sugar-free chocolate. We're gonna spread that on top. We're gonna top it with some nuts of your choice. You can do almonds, you can do pecans, peanuts. I only had walnuts, so we're gonna do that. And then we're putting it back in the freezer to chill. Holy crap, that is good. Dude, it tastes just like a Snickers bar, but it's sugar free and one and a half net carbs per serving. All right, so the entire recipe will make 16 uh, servings, so do that what you may. Um, so freaking good, highly recommend it for like a treat. Keep it in the freezer, absolutely freaking yes, 100% really good, simple and quick to make, and I'm telling you, it tastes just like it, to me anyway. So that's it, I need to go bring those somewhere else so that I don't eat the entire batch in my freezer but yeah, two thumbs up. All right, and that's it for Recipe Thursday. Now remember, I'll be back here next week with another Recipe Thursday. You get to vote over on my Facebook like page on Monday to decide which recipe I'm gonna make, so make sure to follow me there. And don't forget to hit subscribe because I'm coming back here every week with a new recipe, sometimes throughout the week with some other fun stuff, so make sure you're following along, knowing when I am releasing stuff. And that's it. I hope you guys have an awesome day, an awesome week, and I'll be back here again next week. Until then, peace.